Well, good morning, gentlemen. Charlie here. I'm out here on the property. Today I wanted to answer a question um, that I actually get asked a lot. And that is why I sm smoke, why I smoke uh, pipe tobacco, tobacco pipes and cigars. And uh, I want to answer some questions that some people have that uh, that just don't know much about cigars or tobacco pipes. And uh, if you guys have any questions about it during this video, make sure you drop a uh, a comment down on the uh, in the comment field, and I'll be happy to answer it. And uh, no questions are going to be gone unanswered, hopefully. But uh, I just like to answer questions about it. I get asked a lot because it's not something you see every day, you know. And that's that's actually one of the first reasons why I do it is because it's something different that not a lot of people do. Um, I didn't grow up with anybody in my family who smoked. Actually, uh, my immediate family, my my parents and all my siblings, you know, none none of them smoke. Uh, my little brother will smoke a cigar with me every now and then and uh but we we were raised that smoking wasn't good smoking was not not a good thing and it was it was kind of disgusting and nasty and uh i can agree to that to a point um smoking a pipe a tobacco pipe or cigars is not the same as smoking cigarettes in a lot of areas it's polar opposites almost um, there's a lot of skepticism a lot of a lot of people you know I guess there's not there's not not a lot of studying goes into the difference between pipe tobacco and and cigarette tobacco um, but to give you a couple differences um, number one uh, when you smoke pipe tobacco or a cigar, you're smoking 100% or very close to 100%. Some of them may have additives in them for flavoring, but you're smoking, in essence, 100% tobacco. Uh, what I have in this corn cob pipe today, this is called a corn cob pipe. It is made out of a piece of corn cob. These are probably the cheapest pipes you can find. You can pick them up for just a few dollars. And uh, I'm smoking what's known as bangle slices and it is a mix of different tobaccos different tobacco leaves from different parts of the world and they mix them together and these companies come up with their own mixes this one's called bangle slices I believe it has a it has some uh, cyprin latakia um, some orientals a touch of black cavendish which is like a they put like a sugar water over the tobacco and then cure it um, to dry it out and it gives it a little bit of a sweet flavor and then uh, some bright Virginias um, which are another sweet one every tobacco is different and uh, it's it's gonna be way different than cigarettes uh, cigarettes are mass-produced cheap they have very little tobacco in them and they're extremely addictive what I like about pipe tobacco and cigars is I have yet to meet anybody and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong if you know someone or better yet not if you know someone because you don't really know but if you are um, I've never met anybody who's addicted to cigars or pipe tobacco um, I've been smoking on and off for a few years now I started just smoking a cigar with my buddies every once in a while we're talking a couple times a year and then uh, moved on to I got I ended up getting into pipes and I started smoking the pipe maybe once a month and uh, it's kind of 
kind of snowballed and I've collected pipes throughout the years and I've collected tobaccos because there's a million different types of tobacco and I've collected those throughout the, the years and it's kind of turned into a hobby. Now I smoke almost every day. But what makes me happy about it, unlike cigarettes, number one, I've never had a craving for pipe tobacco or a cigar. Now I may, I may sit here and, you know, if I'm not doing anything, I may be like, you know what sounds good? A particular type of cigar or a particular type of tobacco. And I'll go and get that particular type, but I never, I, I never, I'm never itchy. I never feel like I, I have to have it. Um, unlike cigarettes, I mean, I've, I've grown up with people who smoke cigarettes and if they don't have their fix, if they don't, if they don't have their cigarette every, you know, hour or every couple hours or every 15 minutes, they, they very close to losing their minds. Um, they, they, they kind of go crazy. And I know quitting cigarettes is hard, but this is not, this is not a cigarette. This is nothing close to a cigarette. This is 100% pure tobacco. Cigarettes have so many additives and filters and, and everything. I mean, cigarettes are mass produced by companies that the only, the only thing that company's after is just getting you to buy more cigarettes. Now, cigar companies and pipe tobacco companies, they know that they don't need to the the audience they're after, they don't need to make them addicted. They don't have to hook them. They know that they're going to enjoy the flavor from it. See, these don't taste this doesn't taste smoky at all. It doesn't taste like a cigarette. I've I've tried cigarettes before and I hated them. This has a lot of different flavors to it. Some of them have a top coating, like a cherry, vanilla, grape, whatever kind of flavoring you want. Some some pipe uh, tobacco companies put honey on the top and all sorts of stuff. I, I like what's known as English blends, which are, they don't have an added flavor most of the time. And uh, they're just flavorful in themselves. And uh, so that's a couple of the differences between cigarettes and and pipe tobacco so if you're ever scared that you know someone who smokes pipe tobacco or cigars and you're afraid they're gonna get addicted um, they're they're not sometimes I say I'm addicted to collecting them but uh, I've never felt like I needed one and I like that because the way my brain works is uh, I don't drink alcohol because I don't like not being in control of my body and any time that I've ever drank alcohol before and I started to feel tipsy I couldn't stand it, and uh, which is why I've never, I've never smoked uh, cigarettes. I've never wanted to, you know. I've tried them. I think I tried them once or twice, but I've never wanted to smoke cigarettes um, because I don't, I don't like thinking, I don't like feeling like I have to have something to survive, and. Uh, but a couple reasons why I smoke pipe tobacco. Number one, like I mentioned before, it is something that's not around a lot. Now it is making a comeback. I've noticed a lot of videos of new people smoking pipe tobacco. I've even seen new uh, smoking lounges popping up in uh, recent recent uh, cities around me. Um, new cigar shop opened up not too far from me in uh, Lynchburg, Tennessee, a new uh, cigar um, shop, and uh, it's pretty good. Uh, they got a, a they got an okay selection, um, and then I've seen some newer ones. But so it's making a comeback, but it's not something a lot of people do. I don't see very many people smoking pipe tobacco or or cigars. The second reason why I smoke it is because it it kind of helps me slow down. Uh, those of you who watch my videos, you've seen my, my video, uh, let's see, it would have been two weeks ago, about uh, slow living. 
and why I live slow. And this tobacco pipe in particular, tobacco pipes, um, along with cigars, they, uh, they help you slow down. Um, it helps you pay attention. You have to, you have to watch the flame. You have to pay attention to, uh, you have to pay attention to, um, how hot your tobacco is getting you have to pay attention to the ember that's burning in there because you have to keep the ember burning but you can't let it burn too hot you have to pay attention to how often you're puffing if you don't puff enough you're uh it's gonna go out like it has a couple times now since i've started this video if you puff too much you're gonna end up kind of burning the tobacco at too fast of a rate it's getting too hot and your tobacco is going to taste terrible and your pipe's going to get too hot you can't even hold it you also have to pay attention when you're packing your tobacco uh, into your pipe you can't pack it too tight or else you won't be able to draw air through but you can't pack it too loose or else air is going to flow through too quickly and your tobacco is going to burn too quickly there's a lot that goes into it and I enjoy that. I enjoy the, you know, the, the the fact that you have to think while you're smoking. It's not like a cigarette where you pull it out, you light it, that thing stays lit the whole time. It's done in five minutes. You you throw the butt out the window and move on about your day. Now you have to really sit down and think. You also have to make sure you set aside the time to smoke this. You have to make sure you. Uh, You have to make sure you are giving yourself adequate time to smoke this. This is not a five minutes and done. When you pack a full bowl, which you should almost every time you, you smoke um, your pipe, you have to allow yourself 45 minutes, an hour, an hour, and 15 minutes sometimes um, just to get through that bowl. And uh, it's more of a slow process, and that's what I enjoy probably most about a uh, about smoking a pipe is the fact that it, it slows you down you know it gives me time to think um, you know I, I love to think I love to kind of reminisce on things and think about conversations I've had with people or or things that I've heard from people uh, whether it be seminars or just sitting around listening to someone talk and this gives me time throughout my day to uh, sit down and think and uh, I enjoy that probably most. Um, another thing I love about pipe tobacco and why I smoke it is because there are a lot of options uh, when it comes to pipe tobacco. There's a lot of different flavors out there. Um, see, what you have to understand is there's different types of leaves from different types of the world, uh, different places in the world, um, whether it be in the United States or out of the United States. And then they take those leaves and that you either have a leaf by itself that you're smoking or they mix leaves together they'll mix uh, one leaf in with another kind of leaf and you know they'll they'll mix it together in certain you know 20 percent this 60 percent that 20 percent that whatever and uh, it creates a whole nother experience you know and there's so many different types that your possibilities are endless um, I mix my own tobacco sometimes And it's crazy how the difference in 5% could make. You know, I could do I could do 95% this and 5% that, and it's going to taste horrible. But I could do 90% this and 10% that, and it's going to be the best blend I ever tasted in my life. So you have a lot of different options. And uh, I enjoy that, the fact that I can smoke almost something different every day. It's going to taste different. Um, you know, I, I might enjoy something one day and not enjoy it the next because it sat too long it's matured and now it's a different flavor or some things I may not like when I first open them out of the pack but if I put them in a jar and let them sit for a year kinda like you would a, a fine wine or, or, a, or a brandy you know you'll let it sit there on the shelf for a year or two or ten years it's gonna taste different it's gonna mature and uh, that just that makes me happy knowing that I can always have something different even when I don't expect it. 
So I have a lot of people asking um, about why I smoke uh, pipe tobacco. And uh, it's not like I think I'm better than anybody because I'm smoking it. It's not like it makes me feel smart or anything. Um, I just enjoy the experience. I enjoy the experience of smoking the pipe. And the, uh, the type of pipe you're smoking in makes a big difference as well. Usually, out of your corncob pipes, you'll smoke your, uh, your lesser tobaccos. So your cheap blends, your cheap tobaccos. And, uh, and usually, out of your more expensive pipes, the ones made from briar, which is a certain type of wood that's specifically for, um, for pipe smoking, um, or a meerschaum pipe, which is made from a, a type of sea foam stone like substance um, that's found in one particular part of the world. Um, they're very expensive pipes, uh, much more expensive than $5. I mean, you're talking about some meerschaum pipes being in the hundreds of dollars, if not thousands, for certain designs from certain creators. And uh, you'll, you'll get different, different smoking experiences from them. The, uh, the smoke travels differently throughout the stem and the, and the pipe. It burns differently depending on bowl size or bowl shape. So, you can smoke the same tobacco out of multiple tobacco pipes and it's going to be different. So, uh, I, I encourage you guys to kind of think about what you're doing in life and what it means to you. That's kind of the purpose behind this video is uh, figuring out why you do things. Don't do things just because everyone else is doing them. Uh, that's that's how most people get stuck with cigarettes. Cigarettes taste disgusting. You can't show me one person who the first time they tried a cigarette thought it tasted good. I can tell you that the first time I smoked a tobacco pipe, it was delicious. It's a good flavor, especially if you start with the aromatic, flavorful kind. It's like a cherry vanilla. It tastes really good. And, uh, but... There's, there's not too many people who say, oh yeah, I just really enjoyed smoking cigarettes, or I really enjoyed drinking alcohol. Um, you know, some things are an acquired taste, and I understand that, you know, but a lot of things are acquired taste. Heck, Dr. Pepper's an acquired taste. Um, but I love to drink a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> but uh, I encourage you just to think about what you're doing. You know, try not to do anything that is... Uh, Try not to do anything that that you're doing just because everyone else is doing it or because somebody asked you to do it. Do things because you understand it and you enjoy it. Don't smoke a tobacco pipe just because you see me smoke a tobacco pipe. Don't, uh, don't smoke a, a tobacco pipe just because you see anyone else on YouTube smoking a tobacco pipe. But smoke one because you're intrigued by it or because you want to learn. And kind of research why tobacco pipes are smoked. Get on the forums, ask questions. You'll uh, you'll find your answers are very different than some others. But I just want to explain why I smoke a tobacco pipe, and you know, answer some questions about that. If you guys have any questions about pipe smoking or tobacco or anything like that or cigars. Um, you know, I don't know everything about them. You know, I haven't been smoking for too, too long, a few years now, and uh, maybe five years or so. And uh, just want you guys to drop a comment and just let me know your questions about tobacco. And, uh, you know, I, I can answer anything about it, and I'm not pressuring anybody or asking anybody to go out and try it. I would never do that. Um, I do ask people if they smoke or if they would like to learn, um, but I'm not... I'm not going to sit here and tell you, hey, you should try it, because it might not be a thing for you. You may struggle with smoking, and uh, I don't want to be, I don't want to be the, the person who brings you down and uh, makes you fall. I'm, I'm not that kind of person, but uh, if you're interested, let me know, 
and uh, I can always hook you up. I can answer questions about what you should start out with. I might make more videos on this. I know YouTube's kind of picky when it comes to when it comes to smoking videos. They uh, sometimes they'll they'll kind of ban you for making these sorts of videos, and hopefully I don't get banned. But I just wanted to give you guys some knowledge. This is more of an educational experience. If you guys have any questions, just let me know, and I'll be happy to answer. But uh, other than that, I'm enjoying my coffee this morning. Uh, I got to clean up around here. I got some stuff to burn and some, some things to pick up. But uh, you guys have a wonderful morning, and I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. And, uh, have a good one.